the new Luzbot TAS printer finally unpacked and ready. Took about 10 minutes so let's turn it on and I've got something in the SD card here which I'm going to print and let's uh, print from SD. It's just a 12 sided dice. Simple as that. So things get started. So the first thing to notice is that it's going to heat up and level the printing. Now you can see it's going down on this little micro switch here. That gives it the Z axis home. Right, then it is extracting the filament. This is to make sure the head stays nice and clean. and then it wipes the head against the cleaning pad. And you see these washers in the corner. Now the head comes down, touches the washer, and then comes down and very precisely touches the washer to get the exact position. Right. That process was repeated for all the four corners. You'll notice, you'll notice a lot of the components on this printer are actually 3D printed components. At this point it's now heating the head to 205 degrees. The bed is a nice 60 degrees. The bed is kept warm so that we can ensure the print sticks to the bed, but it also ensures that it doesn't cool rapidly, causing the, the base to curve. So a heated bed's quite an important feature. Now it's feeding the filament in and it starts printing. Now there's an initial bit of printing around the outside of what it wants to print. This is deliberate because it allows it to make sure that the, the filament's feeding properly before it starts printing proper, as you can see there. That's the proper start to the print. As you can see, it's building up layers. It's worth pointing out, when I first uh, um, unpacked this printer, it was very quick, it took about five or 10 minutes. There were about five screws I had to put in, a few connectors, and that was basically it. Very simple, and told it to print straight away, and it didn't work. The bed leveling process you saw, which did the, the left and the right, and then the back at left, back right and back left, uh, failed. What happened is it aligned this perfectly, and then failed on this one. And it wasn't going down low enough, it didn't make any sense. Now, it turns out the Z-axis motors are two separate motors either side, and it's possible for them to be out of step so that basically the, the carriage there was a bit like that, instead of level. And it just stayed like that permanently. Um, which meant it couldn't hit that washer. What I did is I moved the Z-axis to the top using the controls on the USB app, and I could see it got closer to the top this side than this. So having turned the printer off, I manually turned this spindle a little bit to move it down just very slightly. Then the bed leveling worked perfectly and I was able to print. <laughs> 